News 4 Texas, your 24-hour news source, continues. It was pretty devastating. I mean, I didn't want to believe it. A young girl is shocked to learn that her best friend is dead, along with the victim's unborn child and her parents. This is News 4 Texas. Nightbeat. A Garland man shoots his wife, his pregnant stepdaughter, and then turns the gun on himself. Good evening, I'm Dale Shornack, sitting in for Clarice Tinsley. And I'm John Criswell. This is a tragic story that has filled a Garland neighborhood with grief tonight. Night meets Jose Grignan joins us live from Garland to help pull together what has happened. Jose? Well, John and Dale, what we have here is a situation where the holiday has turned to grief for a Garland family. Here at the Garland Trails apartment, police discovered a gruesome scene this afternoon. That scene was comprised of two bodies on a couch and one body on a floor. Relatives of the deceased came by the apartment complex tonight but did not want to talk with News for Texas. Earlier today, Garland police discovered the bodies of a 51-year-old man, his 42-year-old wife, and his pregnant 16-year-old stepdaughter. It appears that he shot both the daughter and his wife, then turned the gun on himself. All three were shot in the head, uh, apparent shotgun blast. Neighbors say the killings are shocking because the family was very cordial. The 16-year-old babysat Angela O'Neill's children. The mother was always out walking the dogs, and so was the daughter. And I said they were just friendly for people. I mean, I never heard anything going on down there. It was pretty devastating. I mean, I didn't want to believe it. Michelle Waddle was one of the dead 16-year-old's friends. She said her father and her mom got into a lot of fights. That's why her mom left. That's just what I talked to her about. But she said, besides that, I mean, I don't know. Police have not released the family's name. Uh, they also don't have any answers to the question of why. Why a 51-year-old man would kill his wife and his pregnant stepdaughter and then a turn a shotgun on himself and take his own life. I'm Jose Grignan reporting live from Garland. Now back to you in the studio. Okay, Jose, thank you very much. Dale? A mysterious virus apparently claimed another victim at the Dallas Zoo. An eight-year-old chimpanzee died on Christmas Day. And the zoo says it appears the same virus that killed five other animals recently is to blame. It is a very fast-acting virus, and, and generally we see clinical signs, um, and within two or three hours, the animal's dead. Um, there doesn't appear to be anything that, that we can do to, to uh, help in that kind of situation. There is an experimental vaccine, and the Dallas Zoo does have that vaccine on hand. However, it's considered too risky for widespread use at the zoo. For many South Texans, the great December floods continue tonight. A rising Colorado River today forced the evacuation of about 1,500 residents of Wharton, Texas. The flooding led to one unlikely rescue. A local game warden lassoed a struggling young deer in the midst of the waters, and the game warden's wife worked to revive it. I'm hoping that she will respond after she's warmed up some. They're going to take her and, and rub her with uh, blankets and everything and try to revive her. The story ends on a happy note. The young deer is said to be recovering tonight. Meanwhile, residents of the Rochester Park area of Dallas spent the day after Christmas cleaning their flood-ravaged homes. The waters are continuing to recede. President Bush today issued disaster declarations for some of the flooded areas of Texas. Tomorrow morning, the president will get a first-hand look at the damage as he flies over southeast Texas. Travelers headed south on Interstate 45 continue to face a detour tonight. The southbound lanes are still closed just north of Corsicana. Drivers headed south will be routed through that city. The lanes are closed while officials work to assess flood damage. No problem, however, for northbound drivers. Those lanes are open to traffic. Well, out of DFW Airport, this is the first day of the post-holiday travel rush. So be prepared, because the crowds are only going to...